Hey everyone, um, so this is my week 11 on testosterone video. Uh, not a whole lot has changed. My voice still is getting deeper, or at least it sounds raspy all the time. I, I, uh, I haven't gotten used to my voice yet and I get frustrated because I can't sing the songs I used to sing. And even if I drop them down a notch, I'm not able to follow the tune very well because I don't know how to control this new voice box that I've got. But it'll come with time because I like to sing and practice makes perfect, huh? Um, other than that, I got to visit with my doctor this week and he was this is the first time I've seen him since my voice has really dropped and he was quite excited to to hear my voice uh, I was surprised he's got a, a doctor from Lithuania who's uh, practicing with him until she can get her certification here in the states and so when she came in and, and started asking me questions about I thought I was gonna talk to my doctor who are you <laughs> And she, she said that, or she introduced herself, but it just, it was weird. She's got an accent, and she was nice enough, and she was quite excited to show me my, my blood work test that showed my testosterone was finally in the uh, male range, and my estrogen had dropped to just about nothing. I was excited to see that because no more periods, gotta love it. Um, so. I got a visit with her. It'll be interesting in future visits if she decides to come in and check out her tra a trans man. I don't know if she's ever seen a trans man before. I know my doctor does see a lot of uh, female to males. He does see several male to females, but I don't know. She seemed quite interested in me and asked me lots of questions about my background and was really liked to go over my test results. Um, anyway, so he was, uh, my doctor, when he finally came in and, and heard my voice, he was quite excited for me. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Sorry, dog's playing. Anyway, he was, he was saying that he wanted to see more, more hair growth up here, and so he was, he tested my blood again, and, and he may up my dose just a little bit just to help encourage the facial hair growth. I got a few bristles but and they're starting to change color a little bit but I, I look like a pre preteen, you know, the adolescent look where you're bristly and you got a few odd ones that just grow. But for the most part I uh I'm pretty pretty soft in the face still. <laughs> I was uh at the party this weekend I was at the party this weekend with my friends, and these are a bunch of uh, lesbian ladies who we've been friends with ever since we came out. We've we've slowly developed a, a group of ladies that we like to hang out with, and they're they're awesome women. And so this was the first week that um, two of the couples got to hear about me transitioning. One of the couples already knew, but uh, the other two hadn't. And so it was, I, Christine took care of it, or Christine went up and, and talked to them when I wasn't around. The next thing I know, they were calling me Seth, and I, I was floored because I was trying to time it so that I could uh, get a chance to talk to them. Didn't have to. Christine did all the talking, so no, no complaints here. They did have questions later on, and I was more than happy to take questions. I think the, the main concern was that I was seeing, being seen by a doctor and not doing the hormones on my own. One of the uh, ladies had a friend who got her uh, testosterone from a doctor but then never went back to have the blood work afterwards and ended up dam damaging her kidneys. So I, I reassured them that I not only was I seeing a doctor, the doctor was recommended to me by our local affirmation group which is uh, down in Ferndale, Michigan. The the guy in charge of health for affirmations happens to be a trans man. Uh, his name is Noel Larkin, and he's the one that told me uh, 
about this doctor and the therapist that I'm going to. Apparently he's going to them too. So I've never actually met Noel. If he ever, if I ever get a chance, I'm going to thank him profusely because without his uh, recommendations, I'd still be looking for a therapist and a doctor. I, I was looking, I checked out into chronologists around the area where I live. I live up in the Thumb area of Michigan. And, and although we've got um, several hospitals in the area, none of them wanted to touch me with a 10-foot pole when I wrote to them asking if they had any endocrinologists that would be willing to work with me. No, you need to go to Detroit for that kind of thing. So anyway, I have to drive about an hour to get to my, my doctor. And he's not a, an endocrinologist. He's a family doctor, but he has started branching out and taking... Uh, trans men and women under his wing and and helping them transition so he's a he's a really good guy if anybody needs a, a recommendation for the Utica area in Michigan I I can hook you up he's a really good guy and my therapist is just up the street from him so I can schedule both on the same day and 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 visit with them both so stop anyway so um, yeah, the last weekend was a blast. We the graduation party went off really well. One of the couples, one of the ladies, um, is a sheriff, and so she went around confiscating all of the uh, teenagers' keys so they couldn't leave the premises without undergoing a a uh, sobriety test because our our uh, hard mics were disappearing out of the fridge and. It wasn't any of us adults that were drinking them, so, yeah, we had a lot of kids camping out in tents, spending the night, but it was, all in all, it was a, it was a great party, yeah. yeah, so, life is going well, um, other changes, I haven't had any other changes, um, yeah, nothing really, I, I don't know, if, something that I've started to notice is I crave really strong flavors I mean like cinnamon I I crave cinnamon gum I can go through an entire pack just sitting at my desk at work and I can't get enough of it I have cinnamon flavored toothpaste and I look forward to brushing my teeth just because I want to taste the cinnamon it's really crazy I've never never craved cinnamon before but I've I've noticed this over building up over the last month and now I just can't keep my hands off of it uh, strange things like that. I, I crave other th strong scents. I don't know scent and, and taste are combined are you know interconnected. I, I crave this the scent of Clorox lemon wipes. You know those wipes that you use to disinfect. I I liked it before, but recently I'm craving. I mean I just want to go rip one out and just you know sit and sniff Clorox wipes. I I don't get that, but. I don't know. Has anybody else discovered that they have unusual cravings after they started taking their tea? If you do, I'd like to hear about it. Um, Christine thinks I'm crazy. Anyway, she, one more thing for her to laugh at me about. I don't mind that. Um, other things. Uh, we're just settling down to summer and, and the summer uh, schedule with the kids. We've gotten to have the kids quite a bit this week because their father has been uh, working on um, stuff for the college where he works. He's up for a review and he's got to document and prepare a presentation. Poor guy, I feel for him. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to deal with anything like that. So we've gotten to have the kids some extra time this week and that's been fun. Anyway, I hope everybody else is doing well. And I'll post another one next week. Take care.